Hello guys, it's Tanya here. Thanks for watching. So today I'm going to do a, re a review on brand new BH Cosmetics Pop, Pop Art Lipsticks. Oh my god. I saw Shannon XO do a video on these. Other than that, I've seen nobody talk about these yet, and I don't know why. Maybe they are really just that new, but these are amazing. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's like a little, it says, down there it's um, Pop Art Lipsticks. It's really pink, says the name, and all the ingredients, and it's got like a, like a light effect coming out of it. Really, really cute. And then the packaging of the lipsticks themselves is ridiculously gorgeous. It's hot pink. So I have been already, I've already taken photos of these and I've already swatched these on the back of my hand. I have tried two on my lips, including the one that I'm wearing now. These are on sale right now on BH Cosmetics for $4. That is unheard of. A lipstick this pigmented, this creamy, this wearable for four bucks, you should run out and buy all of them. They have some more normal colors, which are the ones that I, re I received. And they also have some more brighter toned crazy colors. So if you like that mint lip or that lilac purple lip, they've got you covered. Go over to BH Cosmetics website and check it out. I will link them down below. It's not an affiliate link. It's just a easy way for you to get to them link. We're gonna start with Pop, not because it is the lightest color in the line that I've got, because it's the one that I'm wearing right now. Pop is a gorgeous kind of peachy orange toned color. I don't know how to describe it other than that. I'm gonna go ahead and hand swatch it for you so you guys can see. It's, I wanna call it coral, but it's more, it's like a peachy coral. Let's go with that, it's a peachy coral. This is it on my lips. You're not gonna see how this one applies because I'm not gonna, I didn't film it, but I will show you guys how all the other ones apply. So that is pop. These are super creamy. They kind of almost look matte. I want to call them a satin finish because they feel so creamy, but they don't have any shine to them. So I would say that they're like a matte finish, but they're a creamy matte, if that makes any sense. Now I will tell you guys, I had been wearing Pop at that point for four hours with no touch up. These are by no means kiss proof, but they are so pigmented that if you put them on, I find that they really do last throughout the day. So this is Zoink, and I really wanted Zoink to be a gorgeous, very wearable nude color for me. I really wanted Zoink to be a very wearable nude color for me. However, on the hand, it looks like it's going to be. It's a gorgeous peachy tone nude, but as soon as I get it on my lips, can you guys see? First off, can you guys see how pigmented that is? Like that was one swipe. But Zoink gives me concealer lip. Which makes me really sad because I really wanted a gorgeous wearable color. Looking at myself in this color, I want to laugh. It doesn't suit me at all. It's definitely very deep. Um, this might look good on medium to tan skin tones. It does not look good on us fair girls. It just makes it look like we put concealer all over our lips. Don't do it. Moving into some color. This is Pow. And Pow is what I would call a coral. But I guess it's more of an orange based coral. It's really, wow. It's like a kapow color. It's super bright. One swipe. One swipe. Oh my god, this color. I used to hate orange toned lipsticks. You guys know this. Maybe it's because my teeth are a little bit more yellow toned, but I'm loving them now. And I don't even care if they make my teeth look a little bit more yellow because they look so gorgeous on. So that is pow right there. So zoink, pop, and pow. Gorgeous, right? I'm loving that. Okay, we're getting down to the last two here. The next one I have is called Slam, and this is the red. You guys know, of course. This is a beautiful pink toned red. That's Slam right there. It's gorgeous. One swipe. I can even do this. You don't even need to put on a second swipe. One coat is enough, but I'm going to go ahead. Build it up a bit. Try not to give myself clown lip. This is a stunningly gorgeous pinky red color. It's super bright, yet super wearable. It's not too blue toned. It's not too red toned. It's kind of right in that middle family there, and I really, really love it. So that is slam. Let's slam up there and slam on my lips. And the last one I got is called Bang, and Bang is a hot pink. Let's watch it down here. It's like a neon pink. It's like Candy Yum Yum with a little bit of gloss. 
I do find that the brighter colors, like on my hand, you can definitely see they have more of a shine. On the lips, they didn't seem to create so much of a shine. So I would definitely call these all a satin finish, ignore my creamy matte previous topic. Um, these definitely all have a little bit of a shine to them, so I would definitely call them satin finishes. And again, that's just one swipe on my bottom lip, nothing on the top, and that's bang. That's how pigmented these are. If you want to get like the full effect, then one swipe on the bottom, one swipe on the top. But one swipe, and you can cover both of your lips with these. I am absolutely in love with the formulation. I'm in love with how bright these are. These are just absolutely gorgeous lip colors in my opinion. They have something for everyone. They have a dark purple, a lilac, a mint, and a green, I'm pretty sure, on their site as well. And some of the darker colors do leave a little bit of a stain behind. So you will find that when you wear them, you'll probably have a little bit left over on your lips even after they wear off. I don't know what their wearing time is like. All I know is that the one I've worn the longest, I wore for four hours and it still had not moved and I've been drinking. I mean, like I said, these are not kiss proof in any way, shape, or form. They absolutely will transfer, but they seem to leave a lot of color even after they transfer, which is really amazing. I love these. They are currently on sale for $4, so go check them out. At regular price, I don't know how much they're going to be, but for four bucks, these are definitely worth it. I would say even for up to $10. Like a lot of people will pay $10 for a good drugstore lipstick. These are worth it for me. I know they're BH Cosmetics, but BH Cosmetics makes some of the most amazing cosmetics I've ever tried and these definitely rank on my top 10. I hope you guys enjoyed this swatch video and review. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not already, please subscribe. That would make my day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! It's just the thought of you gets me so hard.